surely be a wondrous educational and life-changing journey over the next few years. As you read and discuss the common book, Pedro and Me, I can't think of a better venue than the Story Chamber of Champions to talk about UCLA values of community and character. Coach John Wooden, often called the Wizard of Westwood, although I understand he didn't love that term, but it's true, served as UCLA's head basketball coach for 27 years, from 1948 until 1975. And please remember that date, 1948, because I'll refer back to it later in my remarks. And while his overall record at UCLA was nothing short of astounding, 620 wins and just 147 losses, Coach Wooden amassed an almost miraculous record here at Pauley. This is incredible. From 1965, when Pauley Pavilion first opened its doors, to 1975, Coach Wooden's teams won 149 home games and lost only two. 149 to two here in Pauley. Amazing enough, amazing enough. Coach Wooden led his Bruin teams to 10, 10, that's right, 10 NCAA championships during the last 12 years that he was head basketball coach. This was an extraordinary accomplishment. And those of you, maybe your parents were here as Bruins, they remember he couldn't lose for a while. It just seemed like every time we played basketball, we'd win. But Coach Wooden's enduring legacy encompasses much more than winning basketball games and NCAA championships. Now, winning is important, don't get me wrong. And on that point, I should mention how proud we were that our Bruin baseball team won the NCAA championship a few months ago in June. And that is why, unfortunately, the video that you saw is now dated because we now have 109 NCAA championships, not the 108 you saw in the video. And I want to point out, this is more than any other university in the United States, 109. More than the school across the city, more than the school with red roofs up north, more than them all. You know, we're really proud of that. It's been incredible. But let's be clear. Coach Wooden was a very special kind of coach because for him, and this is absolutely true for Mr. Wooden, it was more than about winning. It was about the kind of person you were and the kind of way, the way you played the game. In a word, it was about character. That's why his influence extended and continues to permeate far beyond the confines of this 94 by 50 foot rectangle. Coach Wooden taught his players and countless others not just how to win, but how to live. Not just what you do on the court, but what you do and how you behave off the court. His pyramid of success, and how many of you have seen this pyramid of success? Raise your hands. How many of you have seen a pyramid of success? Many of you, the rest of you should Google, not now, don't Google now, but when you're done, Google pyramid of success. I make a regular point of referring it to it. It's in my office, I use it all the time, just to remind me of the great values involved in leadership, ethical behavior. And as, as my, in my role as chancellor of this great university, I've been instructed and humbled by Coach Wooden's incredible achievements and wise observations. I'd like to share several Coach Wooden quotes with you because I think you'll find them useful and you should keep them in mind during your years at UCLA, but keep them in mind well beyond your years at UCLA. Coach Wooden speaks eloquently about several ideas and messages that, are, that show up in the common book this year and also in UCLA's principles of community. One quote concerns team spirit, but it applies equally to, uh, to all aspects on campus and on, in community life. Coach said, the star of the team is the team. We supersedes me. I hope you embrace that spirit of inclusiveness. We, we is important. Coach Wooden also admonished us to quote, and this is a remarkable quote, Consider the rights of others before your own feelings, and the feelings of others before your own rights. There's a lot to that. A lot of, in that compact quote, there's a lot of meaning. Consider the rights of others before your own feelings, and the feelings of others before your own rights. Connecting this appeal to respect and acceptance to our common book, 
I feel certain that Judd Winnick and his friend Pedro Zamora would certainly wholeheartedly agree with Coach Wooden. And here's yet another Coach Wooden quote that relates specifically to basketball, but also speaks metaphorically to the ethic of the community here on campus. Coach Wooden said, it takes 10 hands to make a basket. With that in mind, I'd ask you to reflect back on a moment on all the people in your lives that helped